Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's what to do if your Beko washing machine is not draining water properly. I'll take you through all the steps to hopefully get your Beko washing machine working properly again. Now what should be happening is the Beko washing machine does a normal wash and then at the end it does a rinse and spin and all the water should be draining out. If it's not then at the end your washing machine can look like this where it's still full of water. The first thing to do is check the filter but the most important thing is before we do that is to switch it off at the mains and unplug the Beko washing machine just to be 100% safe. Then locate the cold water mains hose at the back of the washing machine that should go into the cold water mains and then turn it off at the tap just do that by turning it 90 degrees if you cannot find the cold water mains hose then turn your mains water off at the stopcock it's a good idea to obviously know the location of your stopcock just in case you get any other plumbing problems or leaks if you can't locate the stopcock then hopefully you can turn it off in the street but don't do that if you live in a block of flats because you'll cut everybody's water off if you've still got some excess water inside the drum, carefully open the door and use a sponge to drain this out as much as possible. And now let's check the filter. This is in the bottom right hand corner, just pull this flap open. Now before we undo the filter straight away, you've got this drainage hose here. So just unclip that, pull it out. Now that tray built into the bottom of the washing machine is designed to catch water, but it doesn't hold very much. So just try and get another tray or a washing up bowl take the cap off of the hose and just let it slowly start draining out. Now, if you've had a blockage with your washing machine, it's not draining water. This water can be pretty stinky. Now it will drain out quite slowly, but I managed to fill three or four of these trays. I'll cut this footage short. Just let that fill up and then just empty it into the sink. Once the water has stopped draining, remember to put the plug back in. And then put the hose back into the clip. There's a link above now about the Beko dispenser drawer and what goes in what compartment. I don't know about you, but I'm always forgetting what goes in what compartment. And now we're ready to remove the filter. It's a good idea to have an old towel ready or a sponge because you will still get some excess water out of this drainage filter. When you undo it, don't undo it very, very quickly. Just undo it slowly. Let the water slowly drip out. If it's really difficult to undo, it probably means that there's something blocking it inside and the prime suspect for this will be a hair clip. So my best advice would be to try and tighten it up and untighten it and just keep trying that until it works its way loose. You may have to get a bit more forceful with it, but just be careful because obviously the filter is just made of plastic. And that is the impeller in there. And what we'll do shortly is we'll give that a good clean. As I mentioned, the prime suspects for blockages are hair clips like this metal one here. These are just a few of the objects that I've found over the years. Coins which come out of people's pockets. And hair bands are the big ones as well. And occasionally you will get face masks as these get caught down inside the drum rubber. We're gonna give it a good old clean now. So take your partner's toothbrush. I'm just gonna use my wife's toothbrush. Lux, have you been using my toothbrush for cleaning the washing machine again? There's just a bit of hair tangled on this filter here. Then take some hot soapy water. Not too bad, this one's actually in pretty good condition. Just give it a really good clean with your partner's toothbrush. It's also a good idea to clean the dispenser drawer on this Beko washing machine. And there's a link above now about how to remove that and give it a good clean. Then make sure that the impeller at the back spins freely. You can probably get your finger in here. This one's actually pretty good, no blockages. Then again, your partner's toothbrush, give this a good clean inside just with some hot soapy water. Make sure you check for any debris at the back, any metal hair clips, things like that. Then use a kitchen cloth to clean out the rest of the inside just so it's all nice and spick and span. Then we're ready to reinstall the filter. Just line it up and then turn it clockwise until it locks into position. Fabulous. 
I'm just going to put the tray back on but it's a good idea to leave this open and then when you do a washing program just to check that the filter is not leaking after you've put it back. If you haven't already done so earlier remember to plug the washing machine back in and switch it on and remember to turn the cold water feed back on. And then it's definitely worth running a 90 degree wash with Dr. Beckman's washing machine cleaner just to give it a good flush through and keep it hygienically fresh. And all the time keep an eye on that filter to make sure that it's not leaking. And then hopefully that has fixed your washing machine and it's all working absolutely perfectly. Remember to put your partner's toothbrush back. Nice. Of course I'm only joking this is a spare toothbrush. If your Beko washing machine still isn't draining properly then the next thing to check is the drainage pipe work. And there's generally two different types. There's a type where the drainage hose goes in underneath your sink and there's a separate type where it just goes straight into some normal drainage pipe work which is on the back of your wall like this one here. So I'll show you this one first. What you'll have is the back of your washing machine drainage hose will literally just be plopped into the top of here. And that's where all your drainage water goes. So just remove that. Make sure you've got your bucket or washing up bowl ready because you will get lots of smelly water out of here. This has got lots of sludge on the outside. Just give that a good clean. The easiest way to check for blockages in this drainage pipe work is to take your mobile phone, put it into video mode with the flashlight on and just video down and then check the footage and just see if that looks like clear water or it looks like there's lots of sludge down there. This one actually looks pretty good but I'm just still going to undo it just so you can see how it works. The U-bend at the bottom is designed to stop any smells coming back into the room and also to catch any debris or sludge. Just take a small tray, put that underneath, then undo the tighteners here. Hopefully somebody hasn't glued the threads on and they're not difficult to undo. You will get water out of here and maybe some sludge and debris. There we go. This one is actually looking pretty good. This has got lots of clear water in it. But if you've got lots of sludge and dirt in there, just give that a really good clean. Make sure that's flowing nice and freely. This is now ready to go back on. So just line it all up and then tighten it up again. And remember this is very very important make sure you put your washing machine drainage hose back down inside that pipe work because if you don't the next time you run a washing machine program you're going to have water all over your floor put the drainage hose in but don't push it all the way to the bottom just push it in gently probably about half a foot to a foot the way down now the other type as i mentioned before is where the drainage hose goes underneath your sink unit I've already removed the clip on this which is holding it on. Just gently slide it off. Again put any excess water in a bucket. You're looking to make sure that this is in good condition. The hose and the connector on this are nice and clear so I can put this back on. And as with the drainage U-bend I've just showed you, you just need to undo these and check for any blockages and sludge inside this U-bend here. If you've got any in there give that a good clean and then reinstall it. Then we can run a washing machine program at 90 degrees again. Remember to plug the washing machine back in and switch it on and turn on the cold water. And then run a washing machine program at 90 degrees centigrade with Dr. Beckman's washing machine cleaner. And this will give it a nice flush through at a really hot temperature and keep the washing machine hygienically fresh. And hopefully that has worked and cleared your drainage problem. If it still hasn't, then check your drainage outside if you can, if you've got drainage outside on your property. Also lift up any drainage covers, see if you've got any blockages. If you can't access your drainage covers, I recommend getting a CCTV drainage survey done just to check that's all flowing smoothly. If there's no blockages outside, then it could just be that you've got a faulty pump inside your Beko washing machine, in which case it's time to call out a washing machine service engineer because there may be a fault with the pump or on the computer board. 
And a final top tip, after doing any washing machine program, make sure that you leave the dispenser drawer slightly ajar and the drum door slightly ajar to help with ventilation and stop any smells and mould forming. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.